Alright, I have already connected my guitar. In this case, it's a Fender. As you can see here on the bottom, I can tune the guitar. Okay, so I have here chosen the, the, the Vox AC30. I'm gonna cycle through amp so you can hear the different sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick demo. I'm gonna record just a few, um, a few chords with the metronome on, and um, and then I'm gonna record the second track with uh, maybe playing some solo. I'm in the key of E, A, I mean. So this is record I'm gonna record. So you can hit the, the air button, R button, or just here on the bottom. The signal is very weak because I didn't input uh, correctly on the M box to get it to get it loud enough. But I think you can hear. It. Okay, what I'm going to do now is try to make a precise cut here. Uh, in order to use the loop mode uh, so we, I can practice some solos okay maybe I'll try it here and then go see what happens um, I'm gonna hit command T or go hit and file or edit and uh, split okay the part I've split, split, split it is this one so if I press this here this button down here turn cycle region on or off this is what happens so I'm gonna make it through here and see if it fits a loop. First I have to adjust also here the the way I start. So when I start I started here. So I'm gonna also command T and um, divide this. Okay. Now put it backwards. Now let me see if this fits with the zoom here. Probably at the end I have to cut Right in, in, right on the on the wave. Well, let's just see if this works. Probably not. I'm gonna cut here because it's a perfect way to make a loop. You have to be a little bit precise here. All right, and I select here and Command T again. All right and delete this section push this over let's see if it's in loop now almost in loop you have a little bit of a strange thing here at the end but I think I know what it is so let's check it out Right, perfect loop. Now what I'm going to do is just this file, edit, um, I mean track here, and uh, duplicate track, command D. Okay, I have a duplicate track, but I gotta, for this track I'm going to select um, a different amp, like this Marshall, and uh, I'm going to use some, um, probably some delay. Uh, if I don't use this pedal, it's just doing this at least should work to get it off. Alright, it's for 
it's not it's easy so I'm gonna use a Marshall to check the sound first controls here then oh sorry reduce the master volume okay it's in sync but uh, once it's in front of the amp uh, it's not going to give you a, a really good delay so you double click again and here you have your master echo which will do it better now in the master reverb so I'm going to hit play the track goes playing and I'm going to play um, uh, the solo and try to get different kinds of variations. Okay, imagine this is a great take, which obviously it isn't, and you wanted to cycle this. If you move your mouse over here, you'll see a little uh, um, of a, a different cursor, which means you can duplicate all these loops. Something happened. Something happens to my combo. I don't know why. Okay, let's make it bigger, like one minute. And you said yourself, okay, I'm ready to go. I don't need the loop anymore because the loop is already done. Okay. So I'm gonna hit the record bottom, bottom, sorry, and I'm gonna record my solo. I'm adjusting the volume for the tracks, and I also can adjust the panoramics, like uh, this track a little bit, the rhythm track for the left, and the solo a little bit to the right. Okay, so I'm gonna record. <laughs> Okay, so now I hit the um, to go to the beginning of the song and I'm gonna give it a listen to see how it says. Mm -hmm. 